Hello internet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lindsay or Lijo and today we're going to be speaking on TI versus FI, the resistance, okay? And we're gonna be talking about some areas in which you can kind of differentiate TI versus FI. Of course, this is through a very particular lens, but I think it might help you in identifying these functions in yourself or in others. If you'd like to talk to me about this or anything related to your cognitive journey, you can book a video session with me below on Snug. So here we go. So the one main thing I wanna hone in on for this video is where is the viewpoint already narrowed? Now for someone with FI and TE, this would be on the FI function, and with someone with TI and FE, this would be on the TI function. And what I'm gonna speak about in this video is going to be particularly easy to see with individuals who have TI and FI in slot one, two, or three. So here are a few differences you can listen and watch for when you're trying to differentiate TI versus FI. Again, everyone can always do anything, so you wanna always be tracking a pattern over time. So where does TI have low acceptance? Well, TI has low acceptance with external truths. The only person determining if something is true is them. Have you ever heard someone say, well, what may be true for them may not be true for me? Uh, if you have, that person probably is not TI. Generally speaking, when something is not true to a TI individual, it is simply false. It doesn't exist as true in an alternate reality of someone else's perspective. <laughs> so what do I mean by low acceptance? Well, you may come up to a TI user and say, hey, everyone has determined that doing this is the right way to do X. To which TI would say, I have determined the right way to do X. So anyone saying otherwise is clearly wrong until they convince me otherwise, in which I make the determination that I was wrong, but nobody is making that determination except for me. As a contrast with extroverted thinking, there is a spectrum of right ways that can exist to do something to make it work. With TI, that perspective is much more narrowed and self-determined over a period of time in which they have stacked knowledge on that particular subject, whatever it is. So if you're gonna to attempt to put some knowledge into that knowledge stack, um, be prepared for the low acceptance rate uh, unless you have a very convincing argument in which they eventually get on board with. So what about FI? FI has low acceptance with external values and their significance. It would take some convincing to get them on board with something that is on the spectrum valuable if it's outside of their current worldview. Someone may come up to a person with FI and say, you should start an NFT shop. Everyone loves NFTs. The whole world's talking about them. Everyone wants to buy them. They're amazing. To which the FI person might say, well, I don't really care for them and um, I don't care. They're, they haven't resonated with particular value with me personally, right? And so therefore they are not significant in my ranking of what is valuable. And as a person that has FI, if I can't see it as valuable, it's really hard for me to believe that other people actually see value in it um, for themselves because I'm not naturally looking externally outside of myself to what is valued on a spectrum. That is what extroverted feeling is doing. So start an NFT shop that my personal value isn't on board with or continue to paint pictures of birds, which I think is valuable and entertaining and I like it. So they're gonna be swayed more towards this side because it has been internally established as a value, as something that is liked to be done, and it's not looking at the spectrum. And where will you find the resistance kind of kick up its heels with these two types? In the situations in which for TI, when it insults their intelligence, for the TI user, this is, uh, the kind of situation that they walk away from, that they remove themselves from or defend themselves in. Uh, if it is insulting their intelligence to be a part of a conversation that is in any way below their intelligence level after, especially they've tried to contribute to it, uh, that is happily where they make their exit and uh, resist no more as they walk out the door. And for the FI users, the resistance comes when there is an insult to my value. So if I'm in a particular situation in which I don't like it when people talk about other people in a particular way, and that's going on around me and I'm hearing people, you know, gossip or, 
you know, talk badly about a person um, in a way that's not to their face, I just remove myself happily, walk out of the situation because that's a kind of thing that doesn't align with my values. Um, and it's really kind of insulting to my values to allow myself to be in the presence of that any longer. So that is where the resistance will come from an FI perspective. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it helped to paint a little bit of a picture for you on some of the differences between TI and FI and uh, the things that they will accept at a lesser rate and the things that they will kind of push back with some resistance with as it relates to these functions. Again, this is just a one facet of the functions that are a multifaceted stone, but I hope it helps you on your cognitive journey. Goodbye, internet friends.